Welcome. I wanted to talk a little bit about After Effects and what happens if you lose a link to your footage. So just to show you an example of, in After Effects I have a video open here. This is a composition. And let's just say um, over here I have the folder with all of my files in it. Here's my After Effects project file. And this file right here is the picture that we're using on the introduction. So, for example, if you lose a link to one of these files in After Effects, and what I'm going to do to show this is take this file and just put it in a different folder. Once I do that, After Effects no longer knows where this file is, and it warns you, saying that it cannot be found. And what happens is it italicizes the type up here in your project window, and if I refresh this, you now have these color bars, which is like the old time, something's wrong with your TV screen. And now you know that the color bars show something's wrong and it can't find this video. So if this happens, all that usually has happened is you have lost a link between your After Effects file and all of your support files. Remember, After Effects is a lot like InDesign where InDesign just assembles some of your photographs, uh, things like that, and you have to maintain that link to get the high-res image into InDesign. After Effects is the same thing. You have to maintain the link to your photographs, your movies, your sound files, in order for it to use them in the layers and to build your file. So if it is in this folder, uh, there's a couple of things you can do to solve this problem. The first thing you can do is if you happen to have your After Effects file just outside of the file with all of your support files, the fastest thing to do is just close After Effects, close your project, put your After Effects project file back in with all of these support files, and then just reload it. Uh, or just reopen it in After Effects and it will find all of them and relink. But if you end up with something like this with just one file that's giving you a problem because it may have moved, the first thing you could do is just put this back into the same folder as your After Effects folder. And you see it appears here now. Go back into After Effects and then control click or right click and go to um, reload footage. And now it finds it because it's in the same folder as your After Effects project and everything is, is fine and you're ready to go. So if that folder um, is the actual place you want to put that, maybe you do want to move your file into another folder. Let's go back here. You see it's italicized. It can't find it. Let me refresh this. And you have your caution screen up here. If you really want it in this folder, all you have to do is go up here and instead of clicking re, uh, reload footage, choose replace footage. Go to file and now you can find that new folder. Find where that file is in the new folder and basically just point it after effects to where the file has moved to and now everything is fine again. So that's a common issue that uh, students tell me about when they are working in After Effects. Sometimes they open up their After Effects project and all of these support files are italicized. Um, then you just have to do what we talked about before. Make sure that your After Effects project file here, the .aep, is in the same folder as all of your support files. That includes your sound files, your movie files, your image files. Okay, thank you.